We've gotten some more information on the upcoming distribution centers in the Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 in this latest Star Citizen Live episode. Let's just get straight into it. The very first key point that was asked was how many distribution centers will be available for 3.23? And he answered 13 distribution centers in the Stanton system. Just on planets for now, but we're considering moons in the future initially only on Microtech and Hurston. So this is going to make Microtech and Hurston be social hubs. There's going to be a lot of traffic between these two areas, especially cargo runs are going to be from and to these two locations. So just be aware and be prepared. If you're a trader, that's going to be moving cargo from on one planet to another that there are going to be trade routes that uh, pirates are going to be um, tracking um, between these two planets okay so um, they also said they're very large buildings and you could even do missions only in the same distribution center there will be plenty of pve and pvp activities this is going to be interesting um, i'm not sure how they're going to how it's going to play out once we get our hands on it the fact that there's going to be both pve and pvp in the same facilities and they're not going to be um, interfering with each other we'll, we'll have to see how that plays out um, so the very next one here key point that was spoken about was um, are, are there going to be abandoned or derelict distribution centers planned and it says not at the moment but there is no reason not to have them as we have other derelict places in the verse yeah, I could see them. I could see them doing um, that. And I could see pirates taking over, pirate factions taking them over, especially in, in Pyro. I could see them having distribution centers in Pyro um, that are taken over by pirates. I could definitely see that. It also says here, distribution centers on pirate systems will be quite cool to have as well. Possibly it could change factions regularly depending on activity. No plans at the moment, but it would be quite cool. So... Um, it's not out the window, but um, it could be something that they may implement later in the future. Um, next, it says there there are roads in these distribution centers. In the future, it is planned to have distribution centers connected to outposts that are close. And then it says it would be cool to have roads connect in different locations with missions interconnecting them. We know the community is interested in roads to navigate between places or even maybe do races on them yeah i think once they add roads it, it will be really great especially ground vehicle racing I, I would love to do that and i would love to also i know there's going to be a lot of people that want to um role play and, and live on planet side um, most of their time and just navigate from location to location just with ground vehicles i think that um uh, an, an, an aspect of the game that the uh, certain part of the community hasn't been able to fully exploit um, and experience yet due to the fact that there are no roads so you gotta um, use quantum drive to try to figure out where outposts are and try to drive there it's really um, it's really tedious to actually do that so I would love to see roads in the future up next it says could data centers be owned by players or organizations in the future it says we're thinking about it um, it's only theory crafting here as it's not planned at the moment but for example these data centers could possibly bring various benefits such as manufacturing special items like gray cat amenities and these goods would need to be sold elsewhere for profit organizations will need to defend these places to keep these benefits of course but again this is not planned and it's good to think of new ideas interesting i, I like that idea i think that's something that they should explore down the line once they have a lot of the major features out the door next it says would underground facilities and bunkers be replaced with distribution centers and it says no underground facilities and distribution centers are two different entities bringing different gameplay opportunities nice i like that so that means we're just going to be getting significantly more places to visit and these new places are large massive facilities so that's going to be very interesting to check out next it says what's a raid uh, it says we want raids to be the end game you're done you've done the story explored your career as much as you want to you're ready 
for big missions. The raids are where you will find super rare items, expensive loot. The goal will be to raid these places owned by corporations. These raids will be underground, so you will need to fly in the airspace of the distribution center, land, fight your way in, then go down and fight other rooms, loot dangerous NPCs to defend. You're going to have to play strategically to try and get in. Don't forget that you will also need to get out, so be prepared. Man, <laughs> raids are going to be interesting. We'll have to see that, man. We're going to have to get your crew together, guys. It says here, um, this is not for 2024, but we're developing an MMO, so we're going to have more questions like this. Raids will be an interesting experiment for us when time comes as we don't have traditional classes health bars etc interesting 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 it says pve and pvp can meet in the same place this obviously excites some people but another part of the community is worried about this mixture how are these gameplay going to merge in 3.23 then long term and the answer here says the distribution centers are very varied some are welcoming places some won't some will have security with an extremely well fortified distribution center missiles turrets guards and as well fortified as we can some will be more like rest stops it will come mainly in three flavors distribution centers friendly as long as players have neutral reputation with the owner and you can access as you please distribution centers that are hostile doesn't welcome players whatever your reputation and mixed in between there will be green zones protected by npcs as a first layer of security but we will continue to bring lawless and lawful security features online as the development continues that is interesting i think um it's it's important that they do have uh, locations that um those that are interested in pve can e go that has high security and don't have to worry about pvps um interfering with their gameplay loops and i think uh um, it's a good direction we're gonna see how this all translates into the game um i'm also um on the fence on this because i'm not sure if i don't think any game has done such a thing like this on this this scale so we'll have to see this play out um once we have our hands on starts and off of 3.23 just to let y'all know i did release a new gameplay series where my player character did get hacked by an ai entity do me a favor and check it out here and let me know your thoughts of it in the comments i'll see you guys on the next video